Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Let's read Philippians 2. Are you looking at Philippians chapter 2? We read from verse 2. Are you aware of all of our verse 2? Philippians. Ma Filippi. Chapter 2 from verse 2. Ma Filippi chapter 2, revelation of the verse 2. I want to teach you what I was learning which is can help you in your spiritual life. Kenya ko le rotan twene ke ithuta yona e ka le kholang moyeng o ba hola nga lena moyeng. He said, "Be full my joy that ye may be of the same mind, having the same love, being of one accord." Amen. and of one mind doing nothing through faction or through vain glory but in low, lowliness of mind each counting other better than himself not looking each of you to his own things but each of you also to the things of others amen have this mind in you which was also in Christ Jesus who existing in the form of God counted not the being the being on an equality with god a thing to be grasped but emptied himself taking the form of a servant being made in the likeness of men and being found in a fashion as a man and he humbled himself becoming obedient even unto the death yea the death of the cross amen Wherefore also God highly exalted him and gave unto him the name which is above every name. Amen. Amen. You know it's better you judge yourself. O ka one wena o te athule o te lekule. The way you will judge others. Ka mo go ntse o lekule o athula ba bang. Tell me about judge yourself. E athule. The way you will judge others. Ka mo go athulang ba bang. That is my topic today. I found that when I'm practicing this I cannot see. Judging myself. Na fela ke a itekola ka ya hatula. The way I will judge others. Kamo go kita yang pili ke o hatula ba bangwe. Where we have read the Bible says be of the same mind. Mo ba re ba le Bible a le beng ba gopoleti. The same love. Le ratoleti. and also what purpose and a happy rebel mo rero muti do you know that if we can have the same mind so no hara ka ba le gopoleti and same love ra ba le ratoleliti we will always put ourselves on other people's shoes re ta dula re ipi ya mo dieteng tsa batho ba mangwe that if we do them this o re hara ka ba dia se how are they going to feel ba tata ba kwa ka mo khwamang this will help us not to do them itar thuso re skatara dia di lotseo if it does not please us a re na isa re gathe you know this of the same mind same love mo opolo mo tii le ratole le tii it will teach you eta ro talena to take the heart of someone to yourself o tsia pelo ya motho mo le ivi mo go lena i want to give you another scripture that i was reading ke yo go le fa le ngwe le le ngwe ke le bala where jesus mo jesu was coming to another village na ya motseng o mongwe he met a mother having one son who died a o thola mma ya nang le moro moti moro wa thokofetse and the bible says you know they were going out to bury him ne ba itswa ka motseng ba yo mmoloka and the bible says when jesus saw that jesus ga di bona his heart went to the heart pelo ya bo ya 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 khumana le pelo tsa bona for us to have something called compassion or to be in to bare ke kwelo botoko is when we have one heart regera na le pelo eti someone le motho mongwe will be able to feel what they are feeling retla khona u kwatse ba dikwao i found that god will never use anybody ke tsotse re modimo ka se ka u tshumisha motho us independent to himself ya ike meeting ka boyena na anang tsa ga efela God want your heart to be the heart of others. Modi munya kor pilu yale na i amaneli di pilu chapa tshwa bang. If we read here we see that. Ao bala moto bona hore. The Bible says 
Bible ire. Can you just read verse, especially three? Are baling botse botse mo lago verse three. It says what? Ire. Uh. Ire do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, through factional motives or strife, but with an attitude of humanity, being neither arrogant or selfish, self-righteous. Regard others as more important than yourself. You know, this scripture is saying selfishness can be crucified by humility. Selfishness is there, but humility destroyed. it. And, and when humility is in you, you will look at the interests of others that you have. When humility is in you, you will look at the interests of others that you have. There are things you will never do because you will hurt other people. There are things you will never do because you will hurt other people. Do you know that the moment you do like that, you will draw? Do you know that the moment you do like that, you will draw? You become the hand of God. Learn to judge yourself the way you want to judge yourself. Selfishness here will be crucified. Humility A man is born with pride. Pride always teaches you to rectify others. And try to show others that they are small. Jesus, Jesus, he humbled himself in the position of being God. He took, he heard what God was saying. A mankind has sinned. If there is no one who can die for them, I will destroy them. Jesus said, I can see, I will live because I'm, I'm God also. Jesus it had nothing to do with Jesus to come and die for us. I don't know if you're hearing me. It, it had nothing to do with Jesus. When Jesus, when Jesus saw the love of God for us, because God was supposed to have said, let me destroy them. He could not tell God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But when he speaks with them, Jesus said, no. Jesus, Father, I can go and die for them. I will leave my abode. My abode. And go and be a man like them. So that they will understand me when I speak with them. And that's how we will win these people. Because already Satan was dominating. So when Satan was dominating. So when Satan was dominating. When you judge yourself like others, you are trying to bring humility to yourself. You are reaching out to others in a way that it is not even worthy for you to have done that. That is the way of bringing exaltation. We see Jesus be exalted. And to extend that his name was above all names. If people want to be great, look at the interest of others than of yourself. You might have been justified that you are with him. Right, you have executed that the right principles. But, but check if they are offending others. If they are offending others, draw. You keep it to yourself. And when you do that, you say, if I'm on their shoes. They will be, I will be offended too. So let me leave it to God. When you do that, God will exalt you. I want to tell you that exaltation is coming. When you start to practice this, exaltation is coming.
Just say, judge yourself before you judge others. So that we must not bring confusion. You know what is confusion is what? Confusion is your right standing. With the examples you have given to yourself. To prove someone that is a foolish. You bring confusion even to yourself. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let's look at this scripture. In 2 Samuel 12. From verse 1 to 15. 1 to 15. If you read there. We see Amnon. I want to tell you about this young man. Amnon was a son of David. But there was the eldest called Absalom. Absalom had a sister called Tamar. Tamar was very beautiful. I'll tell you why Tamar was beautiful. Always when you're in a position, you must be careful. I mean, if you are in a position, a certain position, even when you are ugly, you'll marry a beautiful way. <laughs> so Tamar was more beautiful because. Her yeah. mother was beautiful. But, but also remember, David was handsome. You read about him, he was handsome. He had big eyes. And he was tall. Yeah. But he was the one who married his mother. And he can be tall, but you are not handsome. I don't know if you are hearing me. But if you read I'm not look at his sister. I'm not a level of CCI. The spirit of lust entered him. And he began to say, How can I get my sister? I mean, I'm not could not go far. He's a child of a king. I'm not going to go to the house. I mean, he was not supposed to be attracted inside. I mean, this, the, whole, the, the whole world was in front of him. He was so foolish that he was focusing on one place. I'm not so foolish. I'm not so foolish. He look at his sister, he says, no, I'm a self, I'm a self, You know, he created a style of music. Remember I told you that selfish people, they love to be sick. So he slept like a this. And he was eating. He eat food by stealing. And no one was knowing that he was eating. So, but now people began to say he's not eating. He just he changed his voice. I don't know what is happening with me. I don't feel good today. But he had a target. He could not judge himself. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. The Bible says he said. Bible here. Please. Call Tamar to cook for If Tamar can cook and bring food. Tamar uh, can no, I will do what I'm doing. I mean, she was allowed because she was, a, she was a sister. And when she bring food, there, I'm not force the lady. I'm not a happy letter, say, You know, if you can read it, the Bible says, How about a man of Bible would say, She was so wise, she said, Natalie Filare. She knew that the principles of the governing, Natsi Vormila, we will win your whole life. You are not allowed to marry your sister. Bupilong Mamma, I was so long, and I should see you. Marare, listen, I'm not. Speak with my father. In other words, she was trying to avoid the situation. He won't deny you me. Speak with my father. Because what you want to do is abomination. I'm not going to listen to that. And the Bible says, he, he did what he did. Which everybody knows what he did. But later, the Bible says that he Bible hated 
Because always last does not bring fulfillment. I don't know if you're hearing me. If it is not genuine, it's not from God. And if it's not from God, it's not complete. So after he finished what he's doing, when you look at Tower, the beauty he saw, he couldn't see it. He wasted his own judgment. Okay, look, this was a mistake that this man was supposed to judge himself. But he didn't judge himself. He caused a shame. He started to hate. But go and read the scriptures. The Bible says, when David had that, he was furious. But he could not do anything. David had opportunity to reprimand. But because he loved his son, he kept quiet. He was supposed to have judged the man. And after he did that, look what Absalom did. He killed his Absalom. brother. I don't know if you hear me. After Absalom killed his brother, the same Absalom, Absalom began to search for him to take his position. In other words, the position of the king was threatened because he failed also to judge. Sometimes we hear we are in a position of authority. And we start to look people that we can judge. And we leave others because we favor them. And punishment comes. I don't know if you're hearing me. The Bible says Absalom began to chase them. I don't know if you're hearing me. I can give you another example. David also there was a time when the kings were fighting. The Bible says he, he, he didn't go to fight. He, he was established. He climbed the roof and saw a woman. I don't know if you hear him. When he saw that woman, he said, this woman, she's beautiful. He inquired. He didn't judge himself. He inquired. He found that he's the wife of Uria. The Hittite. And Hittite. Uriah was the I don't know if you are hearing me. When he was there, the Bible says David took that Bible and bring her there. And he did what he did. What Amnon did, David did. He failed to judge. He came he back to him. He did the he same. Went he went forward even to kill. When he came, the prophet came. He brought judgment to himself. He said, David, you're a king, but there's a man. There's a man. There's a man. That man, he had everything. But he decided to take a sheep, a lamb of a poor man. David stood up and said, no, 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 no. that man must die. This man was supposed to have judged himself that what he's doing is worthy of death. But he can judge others. I don't know if you are hearing me. The Bible says, he said, the man is worthy to die. But the prophet says, you, God has given you everything. But look what you have done. And already the woman was pregnant. The punishment came. Can I tell you this? Many of our punishments are coming because we are failing to judge ourselves. We are looking on others better than ourselves. What will 
will happen if we do what you are doing on others. If we do to you what you are doing to others. So before you do to others begin to judge yourself. Look at yourself and say if I do this it is not worthy it can bring death it can bring destruction. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask yourself, hey, judge yourself. Ask your neighbor, are you judging yourself? Let me show you another scripture. Matthew 7 verse 12. The Bible says you must treat others the same way. You want them to treat you. It's Matthew 7 12. Treat others the same way. You want them to treat you. You heard what the verse is. It said, treat others the same way. If you, if you want people to clap, clap them. Don't ever think you are safe on what you have done on someone. Tell don't ever think you are safe on what you have done to someone. You hear what I'm trying to say? Don't ever think. That's what I say. Hey, judge yourself. Do not judge them. That's what I say, my friends. You must never bring an offense to someone. Judge yourself before you judge others. Tell about judge yourself the same way you want to judge others. And they will judge you the same way. Matthew 7, 1 to 2. Matthew 7, 1 to 2. It shows that when you judge others, you prove your superiority to them. Can you just read? Can you just read? Matthew 7, 1 to 2. Matthew 7, verse 1 to verse 2. Yes. Verse 1 to 2. Yeah. Judge not that you be not judged. Mm. For with what, judge, what judgment you judge you will be judged and with this measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So here it shows that when you judge, you prove superiority. And now if you prove superiority, God also will judge you that you are taking my position. You don't need to judge. You know, for example, uh, so there are things that we used to judge. Number one, we use assumptions. Because we have got our own perspectives. We, we normally use assumptions. Number two, we conclude very fast. Let me give an example. Let, let, can you just come here? Stand with Mama here. Stand with my face, Mama. Act like you are talking with hands. And I'm coming. I'll just come and say, hey, 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 and this makes us to be judgmental. This person is coming and say, oh, sorry, I, I think I know you. I know uh, my mama can I say, mama can I must give you 10 million. Now the person will come here, Pastor Baga is a coming. No, 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 I don't do like this. I don't do like this. Come, brother. Hey, act like you are speaking with mama. You do like this. Uh, how are you, sir? How are you, sir? Yeah. 
Can you all talk? Tela pelu bulela vuti. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Hello, boy. How are you? That's my Abuzi Buti. From there, Otuamo. Our journey from here. It's like you're now to Amor Lingona. To our home. We are higher quality. This one, let's go. Are you? We'll be facing there. Oh, my God! I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Hello, baby. Oh, my God! I'm going to let you go. This one. Oh. When she reaches home, she says, Ah, Daddy, what's going on? Yara, Daddy, what do you want? Why you change the topic? Why you change the topic? Ah, oh, the topic was changed. Because Daddy has arrived. We are so much conclusive. Sometimes we end up even bringing limitations. Because if you don't judge yourself, you are entitled to limit yourself. Judging others bring limitations. Take it as it is. I don't know if you're hearing me. Tell about take it as it is. How many of you today? How many of you today? You are offending each other. You are Christians. By just prejudging. By just concluding. Suspecting. Suspicious. Suspecting anyone. You stay with someone. When you cook, you say, eat first. Suspect there are some people who are like that. They suspect everything. Can you eat first? Mm. If the person eats, ah, eat. if the person brings food to you, ah, you are bringing it to me. Uh, no, let's eat together. Why do you, want, you want me to eat? Oh, you want me to eat? Always suspecting. Sometimes when you walk around, you are not even free. God loves when the free spirit. When you have money, always when you are not free. When you have money, always when you are not free. Always when you are not free. Always when you are not free. You check your pockets. If money is still there. If you are carrying a purse. You walk like this. When you see they are coming this side. You are always doing like that. You are suspecting everyone. Always your mind you are thinking about other people as bad. Can you clear your mind? Can you clear your mind? When you are walking like this. You are always suspecting everyone. You are always suspecting everyone. You are looking like this. 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 There is no peace. You are looking like this. 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 Keep watching Charis TV.